house had been painted, but the sun blistered the paint and the rains washed it away, and now the house was as dull and grey as everything else. The cyclone had set the house very gently for a cyclone, in the midst of a country of marvellous beauty. There were lovely patches of greensward all around, with stately trees bearing rich and luscious fruits. Banks of gorgeous flowers were on every hand, and birds with rare and brilliant plumage sang and fluttered in the trees and bushes. Even the grass was not green, for the sun had burned the... Dorothy had only one other dress, but that happened to be clean and was hanging on a peg beside her bed. It was gingham, with checks of white and blue, and although the blue was somewhat faded with many washings, it was still a pretty frock. It was Toto that made Dorothy laugh and saved her from growing as grey as her other surroundings. Toto was not grey. He was a little black dog with long silky hair and small black eyes that twinkled merrily on either side of his funny wee nose. Toto played all day long and Dorothy played with him and loved him dearly. Little Toto, now that he had an enemy to face, ran barking towards the lion and the great beast had opened his mouth to bite the dog, when Dorothy, fearing Toto would be killed and heedless of danger, rushed forward and slapped the lion upon his nose as hard as she could, while she cried out, Don't you dare bite Toto! You ought to be a Even the grass was not green, for the sun had burned the tops of the long blades until they were same grey colour to be seen everywhere.